Hey, and welcome back for another ISO Bytes video series. In this video series, we'll talk about ISO 42001 AI management system. I'll cover all of the clauses four through 10, as well as all of the Annex A controls and give you everything you need to get your organization certified. Now we'll get into the Annex A controls. We'll start with Annex A.2, policies related to AI. There are three controls here, and the objective of these controls is to provide management direction and support for AI systems according to business requirements. So the implication there is that you need to define your business requirements for the use of AI. The three specific controls are as follows. A.2.2, .2, AI policy, it states the organization shall document a policy for the development or use of AI systems. This is somewhat duplicative from clause five, but it actually gives you implementation guidance around the content of that policy and what should go into it. A2.3 is going to be alignment with other organizational policies. So it's important that you spend time thinking about how does the use of AI line up with the rest of the management systems or business processes we have in place. The control states verbatim, the organization shall determine where other policies can be affected by or apply to the organization's objectives with respect to AI systems. So a good example here is to think about ISO 27001. If you're currently certified against that standard, you want to really think about how does security and my AI management system come together and what are the implications of bringing those together. The last control is A.2.4, review of the AI policy. This one's pretty straightforward. It says the AI policy shall be reviewed at planned intervals and additionally as needed to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy, and effectiveness. Essentially, determine a cadence for when you're going to review that policy. I would recommend more often when you first implement this policy. And also when you make any material changes that may affect that policy, you need to re-review that and probably re-ratify that policy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still have questions about 42001, please reach out to us at risk360.com to see if we can help. Also, make sure to check out the description for some important links to other materials that will help you as you take your organization on this journey.